two or three times a week, I'd go down to the women's division of the Democratic National Committee, and I'd clip newspapers and answer the telephone and, you know, just do whatever was volunteers were supposed to do. But it was lots of fun because uh, Ms. Roosevelt would come in quite often. It was a lovely meeting. I mean, the whole meeting was just full of love and, you know, hope and it was thrilling. And uh, it was really marvelous. A love feast, there must have been 1,500 to 2,000 people there from all over the South and they were black and white. more noble woman, for instance, than Mrs. Rosa Parks, who really began the whole civil rights movement by her refusal to give up a seat on the bus. She is as pure a Southern lady as you could find.